In the 1977 case, Manson v. Brathwaite, the United States Supreme Court held that if a criminal defendant claims his or her due process rights were violated by a suggestive eyewitness identification procedure, courts look to the identification's reliability to determine admissibility. In the 2012 case, State v. Gilbert, the Connecticut Supreme Court considered whether expert testimony of the fallibility of an identification was admissible to show its unreliability. On October 8, 2004, at approximately 11.30 p.m., Cedric Williams and Terry Ross walked into a bar in New London, Connecticut. Fifteen minutes later, William Robinson walked into the same bar. At about 12.45 a.m., Robinson went to the restroom. While in the restroom, Robinson was shot in the face and suffered life-threatening injuries. Police were called to the scene. As a police officer arrived, the officer saw a man, later identified as Brady Gilbert, running away from the bar and clutching something in his hands. As medics prepared to transport Robinson to a nearby hospital, police asked him who shot him, but Robinson didn't identify the shooter. A few minutes later, police received a call about another shooting at a street intersection close by and arrived to find Williams and Ross dead inside Ross's car. It was later determined that Williams and Ross were shot by the same gun that was used to shoot Robinson. On October 9, 2004, a police officer and detective visited Robinson at the hospital. During the visit, the officer asked Robinson who had shot him, and Robinson stated, Gilbert. The detective then showed Robinson several photos, and Robinson identified Gilbert as the shooter. Subsequently, on October 14, 2004, Gilbert was arrested and charged in state superior court with two counts of murder. Three days later, a woman saw Gilbert's photo in a newspaper and gave a statement to the police that she saw Gilbert in a black jacket running out of Ross's car the night of the shooting. In addition, a day later, a man gave a statement to the police that he recognized Gilbert as the shooter from the bar and that he was wearing a black jacket. Prior to trial, Gilbert sought to introduce expert testimony that called into question the reliability of the eyewitness's identifications. In response, the state moved to preclude the expert testimony, based on previous state court decisions that the average juror is aware of factors affecting the reliability of eyewitness identification. The court granted the motion, and following trial, Gilbert was convicted. Gilbert appealed to the Connecticut Supreme Court.